Alright, to the Bradshaws. 296, just like you said. And of course, straight west right through here. So, I don't know what peak that is, I, unless it's part of the Bradshaws. Maybe it is. I don't know. It looks too close to be the Bradshaws. What do you think? Yeah, that's too close to be the Bradshaws right there. So that's the Bradshaws over there, and that's back in the preserve, I think. Yeah, nice, clear. Even even the uh, magnifying glass right here is nice and sharp. Excellent compass. And you've got the tritium. This is the tritium one, right? Yep. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Very nice. Have you had this a long time? Uh, about a year. Okay. Yeah, those are really, really nice. I've got a Chinese... No. Uh, oh, shh, 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 shh. Something up there. Get your binos. I'm really hoping that wasn't a woodpecker. Maybe just a uh, a rock slipping or something. Could be, yeah. Okay, so Mick's standing here telling me about his his snacks that he. Oh, what do we got here? A stupid thing. Am I in manual? Yeah. All right, so Mick's standing here telling me about the snacks that he brought. I'm thinking he's going to pull out a Nutrigrain bar or granola or something like that. <laughs> he's talking about the Joya cactus. All right, so I know that you can burn these and eat these, but I'm wondering how much nutrition there is in, in this. Probably not a whole lot. It's the only way these things... They're very fibrous inside. Yeah. The only way these things really grow is uh, to sprout out new bits. They don't actually have roots or anything like that. Yeah. All their water, they actually get through their... This will actually form a choya, just this ball right here, if it's left alone and it gets a foothold into the soil. Yeah, that's far enough. All right, guys, we've decided to kind of park here. We're gonna have a little breakfast. Um, we were gonna go further, but we've gotta go down a long way to get up the other side, so we're just gonna stop here. I'm kind of hungry anyhow. All right, so you you brought your little alcohol stove? Yep. All right, and the alcohol you're running again? Uh, just grain alcohol. Grain alcohol, all right. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Uh, the tax has been paid on it. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so this is a little bit different than the one you made for me. Same basic concept, but okay. yeah. You've got the uh, holes are real even around the top, all the same size. Yeah. Uh, there's another layer of uh, right uh, aluminum on the inside. Yes, and just on the inside, right. Two cans stuffed together. Okay. Bottom off one, top off the other. And we just use a can opener to take the uh, lid off. So I'm curious to see how this burns because mine mine runs real well. Let's see where did I? There we go. If there's much of a difference, I'm guessing it'll be between the uh, the fuels. Probably. I was running rubbing alcohol, and you've got some very refined stuff, don't you? Yep. Actually, is that, that I... little clip I? No, that's something yeah. else. No, that's, uh, that's a different one. The clip you gave me is actually. Oh, right on. Cool. Still on my carabiner. Yeah, let's take a whiff of that. Oh gosh, yeah. That's uh, high octane. And one shot's worth. You can't even smell it, yeah. About one ounce, huh? Enough to boil a little bit of water and get a meal going. All right, you got, uh, what'd you bring, your GSI mug? Yep. Okay, cool. I got mine too, so we'll, I'll get mine fired up and we'll get a couple of uh, hot waters going here. There it goes. I think it popped out again. Well, still warm. I hear it. Yeah. I gotta get my stuff out here. All right, he's got a fresh off the uh, cactus choya here. BK2 Becker. 
And it's pretty bright out here, but you can see that that thing's glowing. That was close. Yeah. That won't hurt it. All right, the cutting board. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell bad. I get, it needs a little more of there. That's just so you can hold it and just slice them off. Now, the one thing you want to notice underneath every single one of these yep. is that little white thing there. Yep. And that's that's all sticker. little tiny, uh, little tiny thorns. Is it frozen inside? Nope. It's cold. It's nice. It's refrigerated. Yeah. It's fresh. Now, this is a little bit too thick a knife to be doing, you know, shaving work with, but. Let me get my, uh, get my little more up. Actually, you know what? I got my other one with me. Okay. Yeah, you can see on the blade all the little tiny guys. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be That's fun. some burly stuff. You don't want that in the tongue. Okay, good. I'll clean that off in a minute. Kind of the consistency of a, uh, like a, a dry cucumber almost. Yeah, uh, kiwi cucumber is what most people will describe this as. While you're preparing that, I'm gonna get the other stove going. I'm gonna throw the sausage on there, okay? Go for it. Still frozen on the inside? Yep. There we go. I'll uh, just sitting out here in the sun, I'll uh, fix that. Go. Right. We're doing the, pu the old push button. Patriots doing the push button start today. Oh, yeah. It's like a hot air balloon, dude. <laughs> that makes my little can stove seem wimpy. Oh, dude, that thing puts out some BTUs, that's <laughs> for sure. Alright, so you're eating cactus, you're not having any of this? <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit for your video. That's pretty much all the food I'll need for... So you, you want yeah. one or? No, no, I'm okay. good, thank you. Yeah. A couple sausage patties there. Cover those babies up. Dude, that thing is putting out some heat, man. I'm always impressed with the stove when I fire it up. Holy cow, that smells good. <laughs> I have to turn that thing down. All right, what about an egg? I actually brought a couple eggs. Maybe. No, I'll pass on that as well, thank you. All right. Well, yeah. I'm just, I'm gonna throw one in with my sausage when they're cooked up here. Actually, they're uh, they're pre-cooked sausage, so I don't have to worry about that. Made everything uh, fast today. This is mine. That's yours. Watch out for the blood. Gotcha. And that got dirty. <laughs> I just slimed the camera with it, dude. <laughs> now chew carefully if you feel any. Yeah, yeah. Little bits, spit them out. Yeah, Roger that. Dude, not bad. Mm -hmm. If I was hungry, like I am now, not bad at all. Here's the uh, carcass. Well, that was pretty surprising. Uh, I got as far as putting my tongue on one before, but I, <laughs> I never actually ate it, so that was real good. Something different.
Let's see how this is doing. Oh, dude, you yeah, can't look at that. Turn it down a little more, but I can't see the flame. There we go. Got a cool little handle. Mm -hmm. Part it's a MSR. This whole kit's MSR. Had it a long time. It's been real good. EB. <laughs> Got the uh, EB egg here. And one of the things I like about the stove is everything I do on it, besides boiling water, is at the lowest setting I can get off of it. The thing it just makes so, so much heat. All right, I think we're good here. Shut the stove off. Um, you still want some hot water, don't you? No, I'm good, actually. I had a canteen cup for it. You had what? I had a canteen cups worth. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, you got it. Oh, dude, yeah, it smells good. I wish you know what, I forgot a fork. So I'm having to make myself a little utensil here. The plan is to have some eggs here. I need something to mix it up with. And I see I got wood chips in my uh, my food already. It's fiber. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> That's right. One thing I'm used to knowing out here is you never know what time something's moving around. So it always surprises me. Okay, turn that back down to low heat. Gonna add a little uh, mesquite flavor there. That's right. If you need me to help out in any way, let me know. Thanks, buddy. Good for now. I'm going to do this real crude. I'm not uh, looking for anything fancy today.